Graphic text. This documentary made possible with the financial support of Holmes Glen. Logos. Holmes Glen TAFE. Graphic text. Cameron Skinner was unemployed for 10 years after leaving school. Graphic text. Most of these years he spent in day activity centres for people with disability and mental illness. Graphic text. He was bored, lonely and isolated. Graphic text. Until he found real work. I'm part time. I, I work nine hours a week, three days a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, from ten o'clock till one thirty. Cam, you're a legend, mate. Tell me a legend. <laughs> that really suits me, and um, yeah, I'd, and that gives me stuff to do in the afternoon when I, when I get home and that, and so it's really good. It, it really suits me this job, and I really love it. Graphic text title: The Receptionist. I like working at the Jeremiah Group because um, the different jobs I do, I like it and um, also I like working because it gives me something to do and it, um, also the, the, my work makes a great bunch of people to work with and um, so I just, I just love working. Oh, the Jeremiah Group is a, um, a, a payroll bookkeeping outsource company so we do payroll and bookkeeping for other organisations probably met Cameron about uh, 10 years ago and it was after his mum Maggie had been to a presentation that Michael Kendrick and myself had done in Warrigal um, and Maggie called me and uh, was wanting to talk about what might be possible for Cameron's life. From the time that he left school he was a uh, client of disability specific employment agencies and they sent him on a number of uh, jobs which most of them were quite unsuitable. I would strongly suggest that parents look outside the square because if we hadn't looked outside the square through the help of some other people, we may have gone down the standardised path that would not have been in Cameron's best interests. And I can remember him saying that he wanted to work and he was very clear on that and that he wanted to be paid for work. What he wasn't so clear on was what he wanted to do as, as re in regard to work. How it come, come to, get, to get this job is that um, Denise, my support worker, spoke to Jared and he decided to give me a trial run for three months. Initially it was a lot of sit down discussion with Maggie and Cameron as to the type of things that he wanted to do or enjoyed doing. We knew Janice from uh, the work that she was doing with a, a youth group in the area and she knew Cameron very well and he really liked Denise and we asked her if we could employ her for 10 hours a week to work with Cameron to find him uh, meaningful employment. So we certainly sat down and talked about a lot of things that Cam wanted to do and one of the biggest things that came out in discussion um, was wanting to work with people. Any workplace is a team, team that works together and there are jobs that have to be done and he has some regular jobs that he gets done that take pressure off us. Um, they, they may be routine to, to me but to, to Cammy it's a, it's a task that he can do and he likes, um, takes pressure off the rest of us. And as I said before, it's just nice to have someone who likes enjoying work, working in a workplace. It's nice someone who comes in saying, I love working here. Cam is, he's terrific to work for. He comes in happy every day. He comes and stops at each of the offices on the way up the corridor, says hello to everybody. He, he has a role that he does very well. He's very good. He looks after all the other officers, um, clients that come in. Um, and answers our phones very well, puts all the calls through to us, um, any queries, he, and he'll take messages if we're on the phone. Um, he'll actually tell you that the place that we can't run without him. Tells us that all the time. <laughs> we seriously needed someone to be part-time at our, at our front reception. And um, so it, 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 it doesn't matter who you are, he still is he still completing the job that we wanted and I saw it as a as a win-win for all of us. Yes, one moment Bill, putting you through. Um, the task I do at work is um, answer the phone, phones, 
um, print data entry off the phones at the beginning every month so Jared, or not Jared, um, David can pay them, um, do filing straight and go to the post and bank. Hello Robin, how are you today? I'm very well, thank you. Here's the mail. Yes, I have been, always. For Cam, it's been a case of his self-esteem and confidence has grown and his, his own feeling of self-worth has improved enormously. Thank you. You have a good day. You too. <laughs> See you later. He knows the routine, he knows this is what I do now, this is where I go now and I've got to go to the bank, I've got to go to the post office or this is the time I have lunch and... Excuse me Jared. do you want me to do the banking now for you? Yes, there you go. Thank you. Thanks Gemma. No worries. Cam, you're a legend mate. How are you a legend? Hello, Joe. G'day, Cameron. How are you going? Good, thank you. How are you? Good, good. Everything good today? Oh, thank you. Hello, Hello Sue. How are you? Good, thank you. How are you? I'm here to do some banking, please. Just that, thank you. What are you up to for the weekend, Cam? Um, going out to Nearest South tomorrow and um, having tea with mum and, my, mum and dad and my brother Duncan. Oh, very cool. Tomorrow night. Oh, okay. So, yeah, be good. And what are you up to? Um, lots of housework. This yeah. Weekend. Oh, that's good. Okay, Cam. Thank you very much. Thanks, mate. Have Will you have a great weekend? I'll see you next week. See you, right, see ya. See you, Sue. See you, Amy. See you, Steph. Have a good, great weekend. See you next week. We feel much more secure in the knowledge of his future. When I didn't have work, like I'd um, like. I'd stay at home and that, and um, yeah, didn't have work, and like it got me down a bit. But then I, when I got work, now I've got confidence, and I really love my job, and it's I really it's great working and that. And I'm really happy. Excuse me, Karen. Is there any shredding to be done? There is, Skinzy, over here. Thank you. I think I achieve more out of it than maybe Cameron does. I know that um, Kieran and David achieves a lot out of it. What are you doing on the weekend? I'll go fishing tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, sleep out in the boat. <laughs> I'll bring you back a snapper. <laughs> okay, that sounds great. There's a lot of research that backs up the fact that people with disabilities are very loyal to their employers. They take uh, fewer sick uh, days and that they also um, increase uh, staff morale in the workplace. When the time comes for young people with disability to leave school, in my experience, there's a, a very large gap in what's available. Um, for example, people with disabilities, are, the unemployment rate is actually double that of the regular population. Um, and in regards to the population of people with disabilities, over half are unemployed. I think for... Um, um, Parents who have kids with disabilities, there's lots of normal pathways or what is accepted as the normal pathways that they will go down with their kids over life. Over the past few years there's been an increased streaming of school leavers with disabilities into uh, day programs and that figures around 18 to 20 percent increase. Hello. Hello, how are you going? Good, thank you. How are you? Could I help you at all? Yes, please. Um, I'm here to see Jared Murphy. Your name, please? Helen Stewart. Just one moment. And the infectious way he greets people is just fantastic. Ah, uh, you'd just like to take a seat. He'll be with you shortly. Thanks very much. No worries. Find out what their wants are in life, their real wants and needs, particularly with employment and then go for it. I think a good worker is um, one that, someone that enjoys their job, that's enthusiastic to get out of bed in the morning and get to work and um, also to do all their tasks and um, that gives them a, a purpose 
like um, to do the job and that, and to like it gives them more confidence and to be happy in that. I'm a receptionist for the Jeremiah Group, and I've been here for ten years. Oh, eight, ten years ago, I think it's, it's over seven or eight years because he keeps telling me he wants long service leave. So I've just got to work that one through. If you've got the right people with the right attitude, looking to get a job for the, your child, it can be done. I love it. Love me job. Love it. Yeah, love me job.